Good morning, everyone. Just uh, by way of introduction, Mark Hack, Macomb County Executive, and uh, to my right, uh, your left, this is Tony Wickersham, Sheriff of Macomb County. And uh, we're here to talk about a groundbreaking, and uh, one that's pretty exciting for many of us. But also by way of introduction, I'm going to have these folks just raise their hand real quick. I can't name everybody. Everybody is important, but I do need to recognize some folks in case the media has some particular questions of individuals that are here as well. Um, I do want to mention, obviously, we have our two supervisors, I do believe, are here. Our, our waterfront, our 31 miles of coastline here in Macomb County consist of the village of Gross Point Shores to the south, which is a very small portion. You may kind of recall or know about the Ford estate that is actually in Macomb County. And so with that, they are part of our uh, Macomb County, I guess, coastline. Uh, we also have St. Clair Shores, Harrison Township, which is where we are, uh, Chesterfield and New Baltimore. And two of the supervisors that are here, Brad Kirsten uh, from the Chesterfield Township and uh, Ken Verkest, uh, this is his hometown from Harrison Township. Uh, we also have with us from the Sheriff's Department, uh, Jason Abro. Um, he is one of the uh, captains, uh, chief of staff with the uh, Sheriff's Office. Uh, had been working out at the Marine Division. I think that's how he started his career in law enforcement, was out here working as a Marine Safety Officer. And uh, obviously, uh, Gary Wiegand, he happens to be the guy who's out here as the lieutenant in charge of the Marine Division. And uh, he'll be overseeing or watching this project uh, as it goes through uh, the development and to the fact that we actually do the ribbon cutting. So Gary is here as well. And a gentleman that has been around for quite some time, part of the marine safety program uh, that is so uh, intertwined with the sheriff's office. There are volunteers that really do a lot of work out here and I've known him since uh, I started out here back uh, when I was a uh, rookie. Uh, Bud Fox is the commander of the marine safety program out here and Tony may talk a little bit more about that and the importance of the marine safety program. Don Brown, the chair of the Board of Commissioners, uh, will be showing up and it's important that he recognize the work that the Board of Commissioners did in helping us secure the funding to uh, to make this a reality. So why are we here? We're here for groundbreaking. As you can see, the shovels behind us kind of uh, lifting a little bit of dirt, but more importantly, uh, this building is going to be coming down. And uh, this building, as many of you probably are aware, and if not, uh, is about 50 years old. I mean, it's been around quite some time. In fact, the Marine Division or the Marine Safety Program started with a guy named Harley Enzyme. This uh, site, this location that we're at here, the uh, end of South River Road, uh, so to speak, uh, this is named after Harley Enzyme. He was the sheriff at the time that, I guess, if you will, uh, was the one that started the Marine Safety Program out here on Lake St. Clair and recognize the importance of it. He was the sheriff at the time and uh, where they patrolled out of was out of the New Baltimore area. Uh, that was I think in the early 50s and then around 1960 is when they moved into Chesterfield and they started doing the patrols out of there. Harley Enzyme along with a guy named Ray Trombley, uh, he was the guy that uh, uh, this building happened to be named after was a county commissioner. They realized there needs to be more focus and more attention and more money spent on the marine safety program because without question, from then until currently, it is the largest marine safety program in the state of Michigan. There is no other program that has more officers assigned to it or more work that uh, is done during the summer months uh, and even the winter months uh, than we see out here on Lake St. Clair. And I think many of us understand the value of Lake St. Clair, albeit it is not one of the Great Lakes, it is the heart of the Great Lakes. And we say that not only because we believe it's one of those areas that gets more attention, there's more boating activity out here on Lake St. Clair than any other Great Lake in the entire country during the summer months. But if you actually look, uh, take a uh, visual from uh, way above and you look down at the Great Lakes, you will see that it actually is shaped like a heart. And so we do fondly call it the heart of the Great Lakes. It is our Great Lake. And as we recognize, there's a lot of boating activity and a lot of need for public safety. And uh, the premier law enforcement agency out here has been since the 1950s and currently is in 2022, uh, the Macomb County Sheriff's Office. We partner with many of our support that we get from the Coast Guard down in uh, St. Clair Shores as well as obviously our friends and uh, you know, Tony's counterpart uh, in St. Clair County, uh, the St. Clair County Sheriff's Office. A lot of activity gets uh, done on here, and I do believe they even have programs in Chesterfield uh, as well as New Baltimore in patrolling out and around these lakes too. So, but there's no question about it. Uh, the brunt of the work gets done by the Sheriff's Office. They have many different uh, amenities from diving uh, to obviously teaching uh, kids and educating them about boating safety in the schools. There is a lot that happens. And so as you can imagine, this building, is one of those uh, landmarks in and around the area. This actual section here, the mouth of the Clinton River, is a landmark in and of itself. People recognize it. The DNR fishery that is out here, the fact that it's a boat launch, and probably one of the largest boat launches here in this lake system that we have, but people easily identify the Marine Division here. And why it was brought here in the 1970s was because there was so much activity about boating coming in and out of the Clinton River. And need I mind you, the Clinton River, it is without question our mainstream main street in Macomb County. It travels through the 
entire portion of Macomb County, about 41 miles of a river running wild through Macomb County that leads into Lake St. Clair. So there is a tremendous amount of waterway and a value that we have when it comes to our waterways here in Macomb County. But again, no question about it, the Sheriff's Department is there making sure that we're keeping it safe. So why are we building this new building? It's an $8.1 million structure that we've been talking about, uh, Tony and I have been talking about for, for decades. Uh, it's about funding. Where do you come up with this kind of money? And fortunately, working through the finances and what we've been able to do in Macomb County with our finances, uh, we have a tremendous amount of money to support some of the capital projects. This is one of those capital project needs we have. And uh, we come to realize that a cost of doing it the right way was about $8.1 million to give them probably one of the most state-of-the-art facilities than probably anywhere in the state of Michigan. And uh, again, we're very proud to say that we're going to be creating that here on this site as we demo this particular building here. And uh, I'm excited about it. As uh, you know, I, I talked to Tony a little while ago, I started in 1981 as a dispatcher and was able to you know, find out that they had this thing out here, was called a lake. And uh, I was asked uh, part-time if you wanted to work for $10 an hour uh, after your shift is done, uh, you can go ahead and work out on Lake St. Clair. I drove out here as a kid that lived in Warren, not really understanding what Lake St. Clair was. And the minute I got out here, I opened up my eyes and I went, what do you mean a lake? This thing looks like an ocean. And I was really taken back by it and uh, pretty much did not miss a summer uh, when I worked out at the Sheriff's Department uh, patrolling out on this lake because I absolutely fell in love with it. And how could you not? Being here on a beautiful day like today, which by the way is how it is 365 days a year, right Ken? Nope. Right Brad? So <laughs> this is Macomb County weather you're seeing here. Uh, but with that being said, it is a completely unique experience to be working out here and be a part of this team that they have. And so this facility, the state of our facility, is going to be uh, paid for. Again, there's no bonding. There is not going to be a village set for it. It will be paid for in cash. And that's the work that we had, uh, we've been able to do with the Board of Commissioners. I mentioned Don Brown. Thank you. Uh, the Board's very proud of this facility and I uh, want to thank uh, the Executive for his leadership and, you know, preparing the budget and going out for bids for this project. I mean, these things are always bid out and make sure that we get the best value for the taxpayers' dollars. And the County of Wise is uh, managed our money so that we've got the cash to pay for these projects now and do the things necessary to improve the, you know, for the quality of life of everybody here in the county. And the sheriff knows that this, this, this is long overdue. You know, several years ago I was out here taking a look at the facility and water lapping over the docks. Brand new equipment that we got from the federal government, some of those new boats sitting outside because we didn't have room in our boathouse to put them in there. Or the water levels were so high they couldn't pull them in. So the county, you know, budgeted $8.4 million for this uh, facility um, to be built. And, uh, and we've got a top-notch company that the, the executives found. And uh, we're looking forward to good things. And said, we'll keep the good times rolling. I mean, we've got our county finances are solid. We've got good administration, the, the executive's office, and good administration, the sheriff's department, and many other departments we have here in the county. And uh, it's just a proud moment for Macomb County. I'd, be especially happy when we have the groundbreaking and uh, get it in. But this boathouse serves the needs of everyone. You don't have to be a boater necessarily to get value from this. I have friends who are boats, so I'm often on friends who have boats. And uh, I am a fisherman, and in fact, I just bought a, a small bass boat recently. And so I'll be out here, and you know, God willing, I'd help in there if they need the service of the Sheriff's Department. But it's good to know they're here. And it's for everyone in the county. This lake is Macomb County's lake, <laughs> and we want to make sure anyone who uses it near or far has access to emergency services when they need it and have a professional team ready to go. It's not only when you're out there, when you bring them back too, we need room to take care and manage the people and uh, um, we've got all the facilities, we're going to have all the facilities ready in a few months. So thank you Mark for all your leadership you moving this forward. Thank you, Dan. We appreciate you it. Tony, no. thank you too Thanks as well. On half of the Board of Commissioners are very proud. It was important uh, that we understood that we have the financing for this, it will be paid for. And uh, as soon as that's done, we're also going to be replacing that bridge that you came over on South River Road as to the applause of those that live out here. So uh, with that being said, there's a lot of work, a lot of infrastructure work. But why we're here today is to talk about the Marine Division that we have uh, here in Macomb County. And uh, no one knows it better uh, than uh, currently the Sheriff of Macomb County, and that is Tony Wickersham. So, Tony, if you would like to say a few sure, words as well. Sure. Well, good morning, and thanks for coming out on this, uh, this great day as we uh, move forward to uh, build a new Marine Division. Our Marine Division uh, currently has four full-time staff that are here 365 days a year. Uh, we're augmented by about 86 Marine Safety Officers. Those are volunteers that help us out uh, throughout the summer, making sure that we have patrol boats all throughout Lake St. Clair, uh, enforcing Marine Safety Law, 
responding to emergencies out on the water. Um, as you can imagine, it's a, it's a large body of water and uh, having more boats out there helps us in response time as it relates to boating accidents, uh, boats that are going adrift, and uh, unfortunately that does happen, uh, swimmers overboard that don't come up. We're here today because we had a crisis. We had a crisis uh, two years ago. The water levels on Lake St. Clair were historically high. Um, we had water coming inside the Marine Division. My staff and I, we got together and we were talking about, let's put in a new seawall. Let's get the wall up so we can prevent the water from going into the, the boathouse. Um, after that meeting, we presented it to the, to the executive's office and um, they were able to come on up along, as Mark said, the executive's office and the board of commissioner says, well, we'll do the seawall, but we're gonna do you one better. We're gonna build a whole new Marine Division. I said, great. So we are here today. We're gonna knock down this old 1950s uh, building and uh, put up a state-of-the-art building for our staff to come on out here and work. Um, as you look behind me, we have the latest and greatest in boats that we've upgraded our fleet. Um, the technology that we're using out here and at the sheriff's office, um, we're, we're trying to stay ahead of the curve, making sure we have everything that the men and women of the sheriff's office need to respond to emergencies. So having an environment, having a building that they can work in that is the latest and greatest and it has the technology um, is just going to make that uh, easier for us to do our job into the next 30 or 40 years. So again, um, thanks to the county executive, his staff and board of the commissioners to making this happen. And thank you uh, for coming here. Thanks. Thank you, Tony. And uh, Tony did mention, I do have to give it a shout out. Uh, Lynn, uh, where's Lynn or not, and back over here? Lynn is our facilities and operations uh, person. We're not gonna tell you uh, how long she's been around because uh, it will age her. She started when she was about two years of age. So, but <laughs> Lynn's been around since, uh, you know, probably the beginning of this building and its existence. And so, and also gotta mention Chief Bissett over here from uh, Chesterfield. Uh, I know he has a program out in Chesterfield and uh, they do some great work. So again, to our facility, our staff and the folks that are working alongside this project, a AEW, uh, and team, there's a lot of folks that are going to be engaged in this and making this a reality and making it happen. We're very excited about this. Uh, but with that being said, we do have the general contractor out here, uh, Rockford, uh, the general contractor for this particular project, and to talk a little bit more about the specifics and timelines and uh, kind of where we're headed. Um, again, Rockford, this, I do believe this is their first um, uh, project they're working on here in Macomb County. And it is a, uh, it, they're extremely excited about this. And uh, I'm going to bring up uh, Matthew Evans. Uh, Matthew, I think you're here. I know you're here somewhere hiding. Oh, there's Matthew. I'm sorry, right by the camera. How could I not, how could I miss that? I'm always looking at the cameras. Jeez. So Matthew, if you would come out and talk a little bit about what's going on. This is Matthew Evans. He's the vice president of, uh, of Rockford Construction. And uh, we're excited that they've been chosen to, uh, to kind of manage this project here. So Matthew. Thank you. Thank you. Sir. You bet. Appreciate it. Thank you. Um, Listen, I, I would like to say, first of all, a great sense of appreciation to be involved with this project. And I'll echo a little bit what the uh, sheriff and county executive said, is that the state-of-the-art facility that's being built here, the pride that we have in that is to help facilitate, one, a beautiful building, but two, help facilitate the safety and all of the things they talked about, about making the waterway safe and for the community being a big participant in that. So we have a tremendous amount of pride in being involved in a project such as this. Also, on behalf of the Metro Detroit Rockford office, as County Executive Hackle said, this is our first project in Macomb County. Um, can't think of a better way to kick it off than a project like this. So for everyone who has helped put this together, we thank them. Um, on behalf of Shane Knapper, who's here, and Kent Jackson, myself, again, Metro Detroit Rockford office, thank you very much. We look forward to a uh, uh, very successful project and future opportunities in Macomb County and uh, big day. So appreciate everyone coming out and thank you. Thank you. Thanks, yeah. man. Thank you, Matt. And so uh, we'll take questions in a second, but I also want to offer an opportunity for the media if they're interested to kind of uh, peruse the facility and actually go through there your, some of the points of interest, if you will, the docks, the actual uh, inside finger docks, if you will, the docks that are on the inside. You look at some of that wood, that's the original wood from when this building was first built. Um, obviously the, the metal around the building is, uh, as well, you'll see the deterioration of it. So kind of give you a better perspective of, you know, one of the, 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 I guess the reasons or the needs for making sure that we have a new facility up here. And if you want to go ahead and take a tour um, and uh, you might want to take 
take some Dramamine because it is a uh, winding staircase all the way up to the top. That was built in 1985 with a purpose, obviously, to oversee what was going on. You need some heavy-duty binoculars to really see what was going on, especially if you were interested in Jabi Nooner Day. Uh, you can't see that far, but uh, that being said, it actually became more of a tourist attraction, especially for the kids, the 100 percenters, kids that would do 100 percent on their tests. We'd bring them here, cook them hot dogs, do that every year, and they get a chance to go up on the tower. So we will not be uh, replicating the tower. Everything is, uh, this new facility is going to be uh, the basics of what really needs to be put into a facility uh, that the Marine Division needs. So what they looked at is their true needs. They didn't go for anything that was excessive, uh, and uh, that, I must admit, uh, became something that was more of a, I guess, tourist attraction than it was a necessity. So those are the things that we're going to be doing in this new facility. Obviously, you'll see the diagrams, and if you want to speak uh, or want some more specifics on what the building is going to look like, we can give you the details of it. But I wanted to offer up the opportunity for the media and those that want to take a tour because you only have about a week or two left uh, before it's coming down, and so or it won't be accessible to you. So we got some shovels.